going on, you guys? Welcome back to the For Us podcast, the podcast for you. And for us. You have adopted that. You're like glowing. I am wearing white, and I don't know if I should have done Wait, that. Wait, no, I think the light is coming in from this window, and it's like, you're like a little angel. Well, I'm going to take that as a as a compliment of, you know, other things. Yeah, Thank you're you. beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Keep it going. Words of affirmation. <laughs> How are you feeling today, baby? I'm feeling good. Yeah? I'm feeling extra pregnant, I think. You are definitely prego. Yeah, I like, it's crazy because I'm 23 weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Or am I 24? 24, you're 24. I am? I think so. I think you just told me 24. I've got a back pain. Um, <laughs> no, but I'm feeling like kind of equivalent to how I felt when I was 30 weeks pregnant. And I'm only, or like even further along. Like I feel like I'm, the way my body feels, I feel like I'm in my third trimester and I'm not. Do you think this baby's bigger? Or do we, is that a, can we not know that? No, I don't. I feel like she'll probably be around the same size, mm. but I just think, I know like with your second or third, fourth, fifth, whatever, you're yeah. like not your first baby, your body has just done it before. Mm -hmm. So I think it just expands like, okay, let's do this thing. Like I know yeah. what to do, yeah. but I've been having some different, you, if you guys watch the vlogs and you know, and I've just been having some different aches and different pains going. Yeah, our next vlog that's dropping on Friday on our channel, you're talking all about it. Okay. Yeah. So I'll guess we'll fill you guys in then. But like it, this pregnancy has just been, it's been so different and it's so funny how like you think like you get pregnant once you're like, oh yeah, I could do that again. It's mm -hmm. going to be the same. And then there's just like totally different things that come with it. Jeez. But other than pregnant, no, I'm happy. Yeah, that I yeah feel, you are. Yeah. I feel pregnant, but those have just been like my honest thoughts about feelings. Mm -hmm. I feel pr like big. Yeah, I know. I'll be, I'm secondhand uh, experiencing it because I look pregnant. No, just as in like, you're very uncomfortable. You make yeah. a noise in the bed and just, you know. Yeah. And I got an ear infection randomly. Yeah, you did get an ear infection. I've just been getting... This pregnancy has been tough, bro. all bruh. the things. Yeah. But I feel like it's not even pregnancy related. Like, why did I randomly get an ear infection? It could be pregnancy. I'm, let's just say it's pregnancy related. I think you should. I think it is. Just blame everything pregnancy related. <laughs> well, Josh just found out that I have ear tubes. <laughs> and he laughs every time I say that. No, I baby. It's your delivery and it's your timing. Oh, sorry. Yo, well, we, I was like in the car driving, I think from hooping or something. And Savannah, I knew she had like an ear infection or something. She was like, honestly, it could be like my ear tubes. I said, you have ear tubes? Babe, I've told you that I got ear tube surgery when I was a baby, and I don't know if you, you just don't remember. I don't remember. It's actually, I don't, I don't know, like, the proper name for it. I don't think it's called ear tube surgery, but <laughs> I just, I feel like it's a common thing. Oh, okay. Like, I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't really know anything about it, to be honest. I was you have like, tubes in your ear right now, and it helps you from here? It helps you to hear more? No, not oh. to hear. I think as a baby, I had... We'd have to look it up. Okay. I think it was something with, like, I had, like, extra fluid or something in my ears, and so they had to do, like an actual surgery mm -hmm. and like place tubes in my ears to help with something. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure on that, but I'm prone to ear infections. Yeah. So I've you dealt with this my whole life. Why are you smiling? I'm not smiling. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's get to this Wait, podcast. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Okay. I am. I'm good. Okay. You know, fresh off my birthday, turned 27. How was it? My birthday was great. I loved my birthday. Good. Um, today was church. Church was awesome. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, Why are you laughing? I don't know. You looked at me. You gave me a look. I'm just smiling. We had a little telepathy, but everything's good. I'm excited about today's podcast. I've been itching for this podcast ever since you guys were requesting something. You've been itching because Josh needs to tell you guys a story. I have to let y'all know this story. Um, but first, housekeeping. <laughs> no pun intended. A little <laughs> housekeeping from the last podcast. It was titled "Being Single Is Overrated." I just a lot of people were upset. Not upset, but they were kind of confused on what I was saying, and I eventually did explain myself but just in case you did not watch when i said being single is overrated uh i wasn't talking about like i agree that you should definitely have your uh season of singleness like being single it's is not a bad thing it's not a, it's amazing i wasn't referring to that i was referring to the people who think that being single is it like that is uh, like they would prefer to be single yes prefer to be single and like never get married no intentions of getting married Yes, no intentions of getting married, and they like shun marriage. Yeah, those are the those are the people I was talking about. I wasn't yeah. talking about you know you being in your single single um season and you know living life and uh, having your relationship with God be your number one. Like no, that is what you're supposed to do. I 100 percent agree with that. Uh, I was I wasn't talking about that. So I just wanted to clear that up. Clear there. Clear. 
Next thing, this podcast is going to be fun. We're going to talk about a story on how, I guess, I fired our housekeepers. And I actually did the firing, but you requested the firing. I requested the firing. And we're going to talk about all things our wedding. Not all things, majority things. We're just going to talk about the juicy stuff, like what actually happened on our wedding night. Um, we didn't have sex on our wedding night. I'm just going to let y'all know that. But we'll get to that in a second. and Because I think that's the the thing that people are always thinking that's going to happen on your wedding night. Savannah and I did not have that, but we'll talk about that shortly. Let's first start off with a draft. Yes. We're doing candy today. Okay. I kind of feel like we should have split up like, uh, sour, sweet, like gummy vibe and chocolate. Really? But we decided to just do all things candy in one. All but of it. It's hard to compare chocolate and like gummy. Yeah. But we're going to do it. I I have something chocolate oh, in mind that I might go. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors? Let's go. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. Oh, check you out. Yes. Okay, I lost last week, and I feel like that's why I went down the drain. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Number I'm one. I'm actually really in a debate of what I think my first two should be. Okay. But I kind of think, okay, I'm going to go with my number one is Sour Patch Kids. Uh, that was yours? You know that was on my list. Okay, that's my like, favorite, girl. I feel like everyone loves I feel like more people love Sour Patch Kids and like sour candy than chocolate. I agree. I feel like there's more people that like are like, eh, I don't really like chocolate. I agree. Okay. What's your All number right. one? My thing? number one, you done snatched mine. I'm going to go Swedish Fish. A good, sweet, sweetest fish at that's number one. That's not even on my list. Really? Yeah. I don't think we have the same list besides Sour Patch Kids. Okay, can we preface? Also, Josh said for us to do, like, our favorites, like, not really, Yeah, like, just bring your strong team. I got but, a strong team. You have a strong team. But I will let you know that I brought, like, not just my favorites because my favorites are very unique. So I had to, like, kind of broaden it up for, because I'm going to win, and I want them to be on my team. <laughs> so, like, if I would have done my favorites, like, I would have put Sweet Tart Ropes. And that's just too specific. I know for a fact there are a lot of people who like Sweet Tart Ropes. But I, it just doesn't make the Okay, draft. here we go. What's your number two? Reese's Cups. Oh, Reese's Cups. Is it Reese's or Reese's? Reese's. It ain't Reese's. Wait, Reese's. I don't know. It's Reese's. This was a big debacle on uh, TikTok a while ago. Really? I, I think, think it's, it's a debacle Reese's. just in life. Reese's. Reese's? Okay. Reese's. <gasps> I think it's Reese's. I don't know. Okay, anyways. Reese's Cups, though. Reese's Cups. Okay. <gasps> Ew, no, it's Reese's. It's not Reese's Cups. It is. It's Reese's Cups. It's not Reese's. <laughs> it's not Reese's. <laughs> All right, number two. Oh, okay. I'm going to go this vibe with you. I'm going to go Kit Kat. That was on my list. You stole it. Did I steal that? I love Kit Kat. Fun fact, I did a play growing up. I haven't told you this. And there was a scene where I had to devour a king-size Kit Kat on stage as I'm acting. Were you and happy? No, I had the biggest headache afterwards. Headache? You guys, Josh said he gets a headache from chocolate. You, there is, that is a thing. If you have chocolate, like Hershey's gives me a headache. The brown bag M&M's give me a headache. Brown bag. The brown bag M&M's give me a headache. And like a whole bunch of Kit Kats. Wait, I think you just maybe are allergic to chocolate then. No, I'm not. I don't think that's normal. Okay. Okay. That's my number two. So you ate the whole Kit Kat? What uh, was, I got, I got, what was the scene? Yeah, like what was I was it? just obsessed with Kit Kats and... I think I was talking about, I don't know. I forgot what the scene was. This was in high school? This was in high school. And your friends came and watched you eat the Kit Kat? Uh, no, this wasn't in theater. This was like, this wasn't school. This was like out of school. I was a part of a production. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Go to your next one. Okay, my next one, actually my third place was Kit Kat. So just okay. give me a minute to rearrange. Okay. Okay, I'm going with number three. This is risky. Mm -hmm. Starburst. I forgot about Starburst. I know. Me too. I haven't had them in a minute. Oh, What do you think okay. about that? Baby, that's good. I'm not feeling confident. And usually I am feeling confident. But today, here we go. I'm going throwback. And I'm. these are way better than what you guys are going to say they're better than. Twizzlers. Eh. No. Twizzlers and Red Vines are two different things. But an OG Twizzler is a great thing to have in a draft on my team. Twizzlers It's are a sleeper. Twizzlers are disgusting. Disgusting is it a It tastes like medicine. Okay, before... Okay, red you know, vines are so good. Ooh, I kind of want some red but vines. But you didn't have a red vine as a kid. Yes, I did. You did? I didn't I have red vines up. until I got a little old mature. I feel like red vines are more mature candy. Yeah, they. I think that too. But So I had vines, Twizzlers growing up and they were the best thing no, ever. No, I don't like Twizzlers. Red vines all the way. Are you a cheese it or a cheese nip? I don't even know what a cheese nip is. <laughs> I'm not eating nothing that's called a nip. Really? You like... I don't know. <clears throat> <laughs> baby oh, sorry cheez it's and i don't i really don't even like cheese i like cheese it's better too but anyways okay what's your number four my number four is m&ms yeah yeah 
I don't really, I don't really like M&Ms like that, but I know we like M&Ms like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to just go with like a generic, uh, don't care what brand, but a sour gummy worm. Nice. <laughs> what was that? Why was the pause? <laughs> you, didn't, went, you didn't think that was strong? No, I, that, uh, that was on my like, just in case, my gummy worm, <laughs> gummy bear. That was on my just in case list. There is... Who everyone loves a good sour gummy worm. I love sour gummy worms. They're better than the OGs. I just want to let you know you're losing really bad. No, I'm <laughs> my number five. This is could be controversial. I actually pr don't like these, but I'm putting it on here because I know a lot of people do. Snickers. Oh, people love Snickers. You know what I love? I love a mini Snickers more than a a big Snickers. How can you say uh and then say you love Snickers? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like that's like not a. I guess that is a popular candy. I don't know. Snickers, is, I think it is popular, but I don't like I don't like nuts in my candy, so it's just oh, no for me. Oh yeah, they do have. Okay, okay, what's your number five? Um, my number five. I'm thinking about changing it because I don't have a. Home I have run. a really good number five for you. Really well, my number five is just lifesaver gummies. Baby. That wasn't good. Huh, that was guys? terrible. Your number five should have been Skittles. Sour Skittles. No, just regular. No, sour Skittles are better. Well, I no, think the normal ones got recalled or something. Yeah, they they did. But okay, sour Skittles are like I agree. I actually would like a sour Skittle better. But we we're thinking we have to like think about that. I'm sorry, y'all. I let y'all down. I know people that's rocking with Team Josh. It's like, what's what was your number five? Lifesaver gummies. Okay, no, babe. That's actually I love lifesaver gummies. I can eat, have those on a road trip. My stomach will hurt, but I can have those on a road trip and be straight. I feel like a lot of people probably also like lifesaver gummies, but I tried to keep my draft things I like, but also things that I know other people like. And I feel like we definitely won. But we, you, 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 you won, and your team. Yeah, me and my team. Yeah, <laughs> but we. I know you won the fry draft. So thank you. I definitely won that fry draft. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, y'all comment below who won that draft, as you guys usually do. And I'll take the know. L. Unless, I, actually, I'm not taking the yeah, L. Yeah, take the L. No, y'all let me know, because I might have won that. I was going to say comment and let us know other things you guys want us to do. Drafts. I know, yeah. It's kind of hard to think of There's things. ways. There's one I want to do. I've seen this on TikTok. Um, the top ways to say hi. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we should do, like, sports. Like, like our best favorite, sports? Our favorite sports. Uh, okay. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we got to get creative. Though. Ours would kind of be the same. Yeah, because basketball is your favorite. Dan oh, dance it, is my favorite. Oh, dance. Yeah, dance is a sport. Don't get me started. Well, no. Is dance a sport like contemporary? Yes. Oh, I, I, when I think dance, sport, I think like cheer when they be. Mm, 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 mm. Dance is a sport. Dance is a sport. You're in trouble. No, no, we'll no. talk about I, this later. Baby, you, you know I respect dancers so much. I know, so, so that's why I'm confused. Well, I just. I just I don't know actually. Okay, let me let me help you. Were you thinking sports like professional, like like NBA, like NFL, like is that what I, like competitions? When I think competition, I think uh, cheer, like going to Walt Disney World and them dancing. It's just because you don't. It's know. just no, just a different type of dance. Yeah, it's just because you don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, tell them what you did. Um. All right. Well. I fired our housekeepers. Let's give some context before we get to the actual firing. We hired housekeepers. This was actually Savannah's idea. Okay. Actually, no. Well, we we kind of like dabbled. We talked, or not dabbled, but we talked about it, debated. About hiring? For some time. Yeah. yeah. And this was really after having Rayella. We were just kind of like, not that it's like impossible for us to do. Like, I we're per perfectly capable of cleaning our house. And the thing is, to have housekeepers, you have to clean your house. Yeah, like we That's still what, do. I mean, that was our take. We weren't leaving the house junky. Right, like we still do all the day-to-day -day stuff. Like we would just, it was really nice to not have to be able to do like the deep cleaning, like clean the, the bathrooms and the toilets and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It just took an extra weight off of like mostly my shoulders. Josh will help me clean too, but. Especially if we have like guests, like we always have housekeepers if a guest is coming in the next day yeah. or something like that. It, yeah, so it was just like really convenient. We only really, I guess now that I'm thinking back, I think we only had them come to our house three, three or four three times. Three times, yeah. But yeah, so we eventually we decided to hire them and I just, I didn't do like, ex I did pretty extensive research, I guess, mm. but I just found this company and it's like a chain. It's not like just like a one off, which yeah. is what I feel like would have been better Yeah. because I feel like sometimes if I just w was able to find what would have been the best is like someone, you know, like that does housekeeping, like just like a connection. Really? Yeah. Like I know them personally. Like they know my life. No, not like personally. <laughs> these housekeepers knew our life. I know. Wait till we tell you the story. No, not like personally, but just like maybe like, I don't know, maybe they like clean your church and oh, okay. something like that. <laughs> Did not think you were going there. I'm just saying like <laughs> yes. kind of a like connection, but like 
they just do it. I would love to hire someone that just does it like on their own. I agree. Like not like a big corporation. For sure. Um, and they were affordable too. Like that's why I was just like, yeah, okay, sure. Let's do it or whatever. I wasn't really up with it. Like I, at first I was just like, why don't we just, you do a great job cleaning the house when you do a deep clean. But it was definitely, it was good. Um, so we hired them and uh, is, that's the context. Cool. So the very first one. Uh, it's a group of girls. It's like three of them, three or four of them. They come in and there was like always one lead lady. And she was, she was great. They she, were all sweet. She, yeah, she was sweet. She was like always, you know, smiling and happy and hey, y'all, how you doing? And um, th- this was the very first one. And uh, she was always asking like questions. Like obviously in our house, we have like pictures. We have like our YouTube plaque. Like I, this studio, actually the studio wasn't here yet, but like they would see all our equipment and stuff and they would all be always asking like, oh, you guys do this and you guys do that. One time she came up to me and said something about us living in Los Angeles. And I was like, how did, how did you, you know? know? I don't, re- I still to this day don't well, know. babe, okay. Well, yeah, Fast tell forward that. a little bit. I So this that's the first time they came over. They were mm-hmm. nice, asking questions, kind of getting to know our house. Like I wasn't really with it, though. I was just wanting them to come in and do their job, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I will say, like, I did have, not hesitations, but I remember watching, there was, like, a whole thing that went down, and I think it was maybe, like, Bram Fam. They had, I don't know. Do you, know, you know who I'm talking about? Bram I know team. who they are. Yes. Yeah. I think she like hired a housekeeper and she ended up knowing her like from social media and was oh, like taking photos of her house. And, I like, do remember that. It was like this whole shindig. So like I, that thought like crossed my mind a little bit, but I also I'm like, okay, we're not, we're not on her level. Like she, but she found out she was definitely well, anyway. So yeah, that, like I said, that thought like bare, just barely crossed my mind, especially now since we become a family, like mm-hmm. our daughter, like it's just someone coming into our home. Like it's definitely like a very personal thing. Um, so I thought that and I was like, no, nah, that's not going to be, that's not going to happen to us. And then the second time, uh, their manager, like the boss of like the whole company comes into she our house. She came in too. Ooh. She came and then they were like, they were joking. They're like, she's just here to make sure like that we're doing a good job or something. And I was like, oh, okay. Like nice to meet you, whatever. Just like, it's like, I don't really, not to be rude, but like, I don't want a relationship with you guys. Like Mm-mm. we hired you to like tell them do what the your manager job. did and okay. said, get to that. Anyways. I need to tell y'all this. Okay. So the manager Anyways, I met her. That was that. Next time they come to clean our house, the head girl that Josh no, was No, she saying, left. The manager left halfway through, okay. and then she told oh, us this. Oh, she this left. Is the same time, yeah. Okay, she left, and then the like head girl of the cleaning group, she was like, yeah, my, my manager, like my boss, like knows you guys. She like, she's watched you guys on YouTube since you guys were in like California, right? And all this stuff. And I was like, oh, no way. I was like, how cool. But Josh was like, they're lying. And I'm like, why would they lie about that? Because he just thinks that they saw the YouTube plaque. They saw like our photos and they, they like, just, put two there's and two so together. much camera equipment in the house. There's just, she was finding out a lot about our life. Yeah. Each time. <laughs> Another prime example. We are down. Sometimes we come to the basement when they're here so they can do their thing upstairs. Miss, I don't know her name. We're going to call her Sharon. Sharon comes downstairs with Riella's birth plaque wait also really quick i'm sorry if they're watching this well no there's nothing to them it's not even them i haven't even got to who we fired they probably will still be here if i'll tell you on a second but she brought down riella's birth plaque and sat down on our stairs while we're down here and she was telling us a story just about something with the birth plaque and just i don't know but she wasn't doing like her job and it wasn't hourly either so we were fine y'all she is elaborately telling us this story and i'm just like i uh, one i didn't get, understand the story and then two i was just like wait did why? you t- did you tell him what the story is? no i didn't feel like it was important okay. i don't it just wait no it actually is important babe it makes the story you guys she was looking at like ryla's time of birth and her weight and the date she was born and like doing all this like calculating she was like she was born on this day and this day and then that all equals up and it adds to this and i just thought it was gonna be crazy because if this and this and just like going in depth about like all these numbers she lost me in the first 10 seconds yeah we were both lost and then the worst part was she was telling us this connection of the numbers (sighs) and then she realized that it was actually not she miscalculated so she was like oh wait actually never mind and then josh and i were both like For starters, can you not like I don't want to hear my heart when I say this. Can you like go back and do your job? One and two, why are you touching our personal stuff? Bring yeah. it down. And 
Yeah, like we're not like we're not tight like that. And I get like and I get it. Maybe because we're very like you can approach us like we'll talk to you. And we have we've had conversations and she's a very like outgoing person too. the lady that we're talking about. She was great. Um, uh, The girl that be with her trying to take Rye and ask and say, do you want to come see me? I forgot instead of your mom. Yeah, she you guys. Oh my god! I remember you were you were teed. Well, because Rye was like trying to go up the stairs and I was literally right there. And the housekeeper had the audacity to ask me if she wanted, if if she could get Rye. She, like, was, like, do you, she was like, do you want me to get her? No, I want you to go my floor. That I, sounds so rude. But like, I literally, what are you I doing? I don't even think I responded. No, you didn't. Because what does she look like coming over there and picking up our, how old, she was 11, not 12 months or something at the time? Like, don't do that. No. That was yeah. That was one thing. I forgot about that. Yeah, I know now, you were teed like, off. Actually, saying all this aloud, it makes sense for us to find. So, yeah. Fast forward, I was, and then also they would also come to our house unannounced to do work, not like just on a random day, but like they they would, it, come. They would be scheduled, but they would come like, and we would never know. They would never let us know when they were on the way. Never let us know when they were on the way. We are venting because we haven't told anybody this story, by the way, you guys. Fast forward to last week or two weeks ago. Wait, babe. What? I have a tortilla chip on my belly. That's you in a nutshell. Um, fast forward to like a couple weeks ago. They come unannounced again. I'm like feeding Rayella. You are getting, I'm at Orange Theory. You're at Orange Theory. I'm it's I'm wake Rise woke up. I go in there, we do our morning routine. She's drinking a bottle. I hear a ding dong at the door with the ring. And I look and I see women with like mopping buckets and I said for starters I didn't recognize them this is where it gets I'm like who are these people and I'm like oh wow we have the maid service coming today so I get upset because I'm into my comfort of rise room I'm like we're doing our routine like every, I'm already upset about that I go to the door open the door usually the original crew who's there they're so nice so they're amazing they're great people um you know minus everything else that we've said the, I open the door. They just, these three ladies bum rush, not bum rush. They walk in with their gear. Don't say a word and don't look at me in my eyes. Me, if you know me, I am huge on one customer service, but two, just being just a all around, just like great person. When I look at you and I shake my hand, I want you to give me a firm handshake. I want you to look me in the eyes. Um, I want you to look at me. I want you to acknowledge you say hi. When you, walk, when you, you say hi when you walk into a room like that's, that's me. That's how I was raised. That's how we're going to do things. They walk in. Don't look at me in the eyes. Like, did you forget you're in my house? One, two, um, bringing in all their gear. It is wet outside. Grant, I know you're about to mop the floors. Well, I don't even think I told you this. Walked in, just dee, 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 wet, getting all our our um our wood uh wet from the rain and stuff like that. Um, and I'm pretty sure they were on our carpet too at some point with their wet socks or with their wet uh shoes or whatever. Come in, I say hi. How you guys doing? Maybe one person said hello. I'm holding my daughter. We're both looking like bums with our pajamas, rise messy hair, all this stuff. Then I see one girl starting to like, you know, look around our house. I'm just like, okay, maybe they're new or whatever. So like they want to do a synopsis. But you know me, it's my home. And there are certain things that we have to tell, like that we tell them like, hey, don't you don't have to do the basement or you don't have to do upstairs or like stuff like that. She's taking it upon herself, just walking. And I said, uh, is there anything that I can help you guys with? You have you know, any questions? Yeah, do you have any questions? She said, no, I'm just looking around. This is our first time here. Listen here, Missy, I know it was your first time here. So that's why me offering to help you wasn't like a, it wasn't an offering. It was more like, I'm telling you. Yeah, what can I help you what with? What can I help you with walking around my house in your wet shoes? So she does that. And I just said, you know what? I ain't going to be confrontational. Just do what you got to do. Eventually, she goes upstairs, which is upsetting because she goes up to our room. And I know she's doing her little glance. And she goes upstairs and I tell another girl that was more on the nicer side. But I say, hey, you guys don't have to do the basement today. And I think eventually you say you guys don't have to do the the guest room or whatever. I told her that. And she said, oh, OK, that's fine. Your little friend. No, I didn't say this. Your little friend needs to check her attitude out the door. Anyways, they're doing stuff. Well, did I get upset about anything else before I get to the firing? I think that was it. I get so upset. I go in Riella's room, close Riella's door. I'm about to change her diaper. I call my wife because I know Orange Theory was over. I said, babe, 
I hate these housekeepers and hate is such a strong word and I know I shouldn't use it, but it was in the time I was so upset. I said, they walked inside. I told them everything that they did, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I said, babe, we had to fire them right now. I need you to call and fire them right this second. I do not want them in my house anymore. They came in. I just felt so disrespected. And my, y'all aren't even our OG people, which was upsetting me. I had to take a break. I had to take a breath. Um, well, yeah. So Josh calls me and then I'm like, okay, babe, like it's fine. I'm sorry. Like, right, I'm, Savannah I'm, didn't even argue with me or nothing. I said, oh, I like that. Well, I'm like, I'm on my way home and I was like, I can call them because honestly, like now even I'm glad that we did like just thinking of everything that they've like kind of just done to like violate our privacy in a way is just like too much. So Josh told me that he was like, we can find other ones. I was like, okay, yeah. He's like, I'll help you find, find like a new one. So I just called them and like, I was super nice. I was like, I just want to let you know, we're going to, um, like seek, you know, service elsewhere. We, I didn't give them all the details cause it's just like, it's just too it's much. Pointless. And You're like, out of the house regardless. Yeah. So I just said, you know, they've come a couple of times unannounced and we just, we're just going to find different yep. different like housekeeping and fast forward to like yesterday or two days ago yeah they called me and left me a voicemail <laughs> which i need to return their voicemail yeah but they were just wanting to know like just follow up about the cancellation and probably just try to get us to like stay around mm-hmm. um well, what's the embarrassing part what oh, the card. oh yes i i had got fraud on one of my cards so my card is i have to like switch all my like automatic payments and they probably think that we canceled because I, we we're going to try to like scam, them. like scam them. Y'all, and they I actually, and said, I need to call them back like ASAP. Yeah. They called and said, well, your card got declined and, but also want to hear that's so embarrassing. That's actually really embarrassing. Like that's like, we literally look like we tried to dine and dash. It's hundred percent. Like we tried to scam them. Yeah. And, and yeah. the worst part is if they really do know us, then they know our whole life and they're like, Oh my God, geez. These YouTubers did this, blah blah. blah. <laughs> YouTubers. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, but where's the monitor? Uh, I think I just heard Ryla. I thought I did too, but I d- I didn't. I was just waiting till it beeps. Where? I don't know. You have it. I think it's it's over there. No, I don't have it. Yeah, we'd be doing this while um. Oh, it's right here. Oh. While our daughter is napping and she is. She's awake. All right, y'all. We have a, a guest with us. We'll see how long she lasts. You want to say hi? Hi, baby. <laughs> She's so confused. All right. Let's talk wedding. Did we finish our story? Oh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, they're fired. Let us know if you guys have any stories. But We're going to have to get a like legit housekeeper. I was going to say that or Josh and I just like deep cleaned the house yesterday. Did and good job. we did a really good job. And I feel like now rise at like a more manageable age it didn't feel like that hard to do so we may just kind of like hold off for now but we'll let you guys know what we what we decide right um all right let's talk things all things wedding let's see where do you want to start because if you guys don't know we got married three years ago we got married in los angeles california and i'm originally from michigan you guys know that and savannah is from portland oregon and our daughter is playing with the sound equipment so Here. hopefully you want some water Oh, she has a big chill. Um, and Savannah's port. So our family, they all met us in Los Angeles. We thought that was the best thing. That was really cool. Also, really quick, that was our first time that any of our family had met each other. That's a, I, I'm starting to realize that's a common thing in marriages now. Really? Yeah, like people. Like this is the very first time like they're meeting or whatever. And I remember at a wedding at or at a, like a gender reveal or something. I remember every, everyone at our wedding being so shocked that our families had never met. They were like, "Whoa, that's so crazy!" But I know. honestly, like for us, we knew like. Not to say, like, if our families didn't like each other, we're not getting married. But, like, we we still would have got married even if our families didn't like each other, right? Oh, 100%. Like, it's not about that. Definitely not. Especially, like, yeah. As long as, like, we knew that, like, I loved your family like, you loved my family. Mm -hmm. So, we pretty much knew, like, okay, our families, how would they, like, not get along, you know? So, yeah. um, But, yeah, let's start with with wedding planning. Okay, you go that route because I remember showing up. And not knowing one thing. Your mom was in town too or something? Remember when we first met our wedding planner? No, yes. it was just us. It was just it was us. Just us yeah. But I was also very confused. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know how much things were. Are we going to share? Do we know how much things were? Yeah, we do. Can, Can we, we share, share that? Yeah. yeah, let's share that. Right now? Yeah. No, well, oh, do okay. saying go start well, okay, with the wedding so, planning. So wedding planning, I'll say for us, like, I don't know if this is like traditional, but I did a lot more of the wedding planning. I, I would say like, I would say I did like 80% maybe, but that wasn't because like Josh didn't want to. It was more because I wanted to. And I feel like a lot of like women would relate to that. Like, I think it's just, 
you have like your vision and kind of what you want and Josh obviously like he just kind of supported me no matter what like he I feel like you didn't have any preference did you not at all it was just to a point where I was just like you know this is your dream wedding I mean it's mine too but like this is what you wanted and I'm not gonna argue with you about right well and I don't feel like wedding planning was stressful like on like mentally just because it's a lot but I don't think it was really a stress like on our relationship no because like I kind of just did it like myself in a way I don't know so yeah I'll just say I feel like that's like kind of our wedding planning scenario and I feel like it worked out really well for us just to kind of have me like take the lead with it I guess now we didn't have a traditional wedding planner what do we have a day of yeah so we didn't I didn't know that was a thing yeah so you can do like a full wedding planner to where like they literally plan out every detail of your wedding and you don't have to do any of it Mm -hmm. That is so expensive. So we were trying to like cut back on costs where we could. So we just did the day of wedding planner. But I will say she still was very much so involved. Like she knew all the details of our day. Like she doesn't just show up on the day of and be like, okay, what do I need to do? But there's just like different levels of wedding planning, which I was obviously unaware of until we started planning ours. (laughs) So yeah, we did do that. And there was just so many like different things. Like honestly, the worst, not worst part, but like hardest part was like the invites Mm -hmm. and all of that. Because we did all that. Usually, would a, no- a normal wedding planner do all that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, a uh, normal. I'm not really sure if if you like hired a wedding planner. I don't think. I mean, they you would have to still get them all the addresses and stuff like that. So I don't really oh, know, right. but yeah, that was our wedding planning. We had a pretty sh- short. Well, we would say it was kind of short. I guess people yeah. probably do shorter, but we had like a six month engagement. Mm-hmm. So we planned a wedding pretty quick, and it was interesting for us because we were the first to like get married. And b- yeah, on both sides, essentially, so, yeah, yeah. And like my my sister's older, but like I got married before her. Oh, she's still not married, but I I got married first so we were all like learning how to do this stuff for the first time right um but yeah i feel like it went pretty smoothly and yeah we'll share with you guys the cost of our wedding like the overall cost it was around like thirty thousand, which is actually not terrible i mean it sounds terrible but like i know that that i i think i looked it up and i think that's like the average cost of a wedding so it wasn't like out of the norm how much we spent i don't think but i don't know i do think about sometimes like if we could go back like would we just elope and like use that money towards something else i don't know i feel like i was just talking to someone like i encourage people to elope because i think it's so special and sweet not that i have any experience because we did have like a rather large wedding but i I also wouldn't change our day for anything no i wouldn't i wouldn't take it back yeah we a non-traditional thing we did at our wedding we had worship at our wedding which was awesome it was like an acoustic set that um uh we did which was great my dad officiated our wedding so that saved us money as yeah. well which it is was great. really special everyone i'll never forget like everyone was talking about our ceremony like right, they right, could right. not get over our ceremony and just like how special it was 100 percent. yeah um what else happened during the wedding um we had our vows and then my dad gave us vows to recite as well which is awesome because i didn't even know about writing your own vows i know that sometimes people you didn't yeah sometimes people don't do that sometimes you just have the vows that the official oh i know no but you said you didn't know about it yeah you didn't know that you wrote your own vows no i'm saying like sometimes people don't write their own vows i know but you just said you people didn't, don't write vows you just said you didn't know about it yes so you never knew that that was a thing yes you just said i never knew about writing your own vows yeah, I don't. I didn't. But now I do. Oh, so like before our wedding, you didn't know about that. OK, so Josh didn't know it was the thing that you write your own vows. And what I actually I didn't really realize that like writing your own vows and then like the vows that we repeat to each other. That's all vows. Yes. 100%. That's all like the same thing. But yep. I didn't really realize that. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, what else happened at our wedding? Uh, that's pretty much it. We I did. Um, that's pretty much it. No. Well, I'm thinking of like afterwards. I did a mother son dance yeah, and cute. usually that that's a thing but my, my wife my wife my mom and i we did like a special dance towards the end of it and uh that was fun we did like the turbo hustle it's like a detroit dance or whatever um and that was very fun uh, and then you did your dance with your dad yes. and you did something else that was special oh yeah i did a, i did like a dance with my mom and my sister yeah which i feel like is unique too i don't mm-hmm. know i literally you guys it's so funny when we plan our wedding like like I said, I just didn't really have much experience. So I don't really know. Like, we just did whatever we wanted. 100%. Yeah. We were just like, just going for it. And 
that was that. After we did like a sparkler exit, which I didn't know what it was until we did it. I kept hearing everyone saying we're doing a sparkler exit, sparkler exit. You and I'm just know. following where our wedding planner takes us. Like, yeah. if you want us to go over here, we'll go over there, yeah. which was cool. Do we ever have some time alone after the wedding? Yeah. So right after I don't remember. we got married, like right after the ceremony was over, we mm-hmm. went to take more photos like kind of away at like this trail okay and then after that we went into like the bridal suite and it was just, just you me and, and you for like a second and then of course both of our parents came yeah, well they- my dad and your mom came they had to get their pictures yes which was so sweet because we i know exactly what those pictures look like and yeah. they came in got their pictures and of course they can come in yeah of course yeah and then we had our reception it was super fun yep. we danced we danced the night away yeah we switched into some forces oh yeah, whose idea was that I don't, re- I I don't, don't remember. remember. Yeah, Savannah. Our wedding feels so long ago. Maybe. And it was just three years ago. I know. It 100% feels so long ago. But yeah, we switched it to some like some Air Forces, which was dope. And uh, we were dancing in those all night. Were you ever barefoot? Oh, no. this is a sidebar. Our cake was the best cake ever. Y'all know me. I love cinnamon. It was a cinnamon batter cake with. Cinnamon buttercream. Yeah. Cinnamon cake with a cinnamon buttercream frosting. Ooh, if you love cinnamon, I highly advise ask your uh, baker. What's the word? The uh, baker. Bake. Yeah, this baker. whoever's making your cake <laughs> to do something like that because that we didn't even enjoy our cake. I didn't even. Do we even it. freeze it? And no, uh, we did. And then I think it was just too bad for us to. I know you're supposed to like freeze your cake and, and eat it a year on later. Your anniversary. Yeah. We did not do that. Yeah. But yeah, we ate. I cannot tell you what we had for dinner. I don't even think I ate. I know. My cheeks were hurting afterwards. Your cheeks are going to hurt on the day of your wedding. I will say if we could do something differently, Hmm. I do feel like we, like, because we talked to each person at our wedding. Yeah. And what we should have done now that, like, I have more experience of, like, just, like, going to weddings. We went to weddings. We go around to each table. And then you can, like, talk to everyone kind of real quick. Yes. That way, like, afterwards you're not being bombarded with, like... A bunch of people talking to you and asking for photos. Not that that's a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Like we wanted to talk to everyone that came to our wedding, but I feel like that lasted for a really long Something time. Something I've seen too is like you and I are, would would be standing at the like when people are getting their food, and like we're right there as they're getting their plates or whatever. Oh, that way cool. you'll see everybody because everyone's gonna want to eat, and you just say hi that way. I don't right. know, yeah. but yeah, that was one thing we would have did different. We also had like games there. That actually, no, we actually, the games never they came were out. They supposed to be there and they weren't. And we paid for them. But did we on, get a refund? I think we did. But honestly, like, I'm low-key glad that they didn't because I feel like no one would have played them. Yeah. Cause and was, there, were no, there weren't even, like, any babies there for real either. No, and it was a little bit chilly, too, at our wedding. It was at nighttime, yeah. Because yeah, so. we got mar- married in October in L.A. and that was a little, that was definitely chilly. Yeah. To a certain extent. But, um... Yeah, that was fun. That it was it was a great wedding. Like I said, we did the sparkler exit. We left in a Uber. Yeah, we just at this point it just started getting real just ghetto. We just like, all right, we're not gonna do like a big limo or chariot or whatever. I think I didn't even think about that. Like I should have. Now looking back, we literally just called an Uber. Yeah, we literally was like call an Uber. I got my suitcases out of my car. And how did my car? Oh, my brother took my car. I think you got your suitcase out of your car or whatever. Um, and then, yeah, we didn't even see each other the night before. Or did we? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Because I had a hotel. and Well, we had a hotel block, I think. I don't know what we did. No, we don't. I don't remember. Yeah. I was staying at a hotel where some of our family were. I was staying with my brother. You were staying at? With a hotel. Oh, you were at a different hotel, too. Um, and we didn't see each other the night before. Oh, no, we saw each other. When was the wedding? Re- the, the rehearsal, rehearsal? Was the night before. Okay. We did see each other the night before. We did see each other the night before. But I'm thinking like the night night, we just, I don't, I didn't see her or yeah. anything. And I don't even know, if, did we even have a moment or anything? I don't even know. No, I don't think so. It felt, I feel like everyone can probably relate to this. Like it felt very like chaotic and like, because you're happened so fast. Your family's in town and like the moment that we've been waiting for is like finally about to happen. And it goes by so fast. It's that would, another thing I would change too. I would be in the moment more. Yeah. If, if we go back. Though. Like, it definitely is hard. You don't know. This is your first time. And like, you know, it's, it's all new. It's all different. Yeah. Um, so like I said, we ordered that Uber. Uh, I was, and we got an Airbnb. We just, we both, we got an Airbnb and the Airbnb was pretty nice. It was like a one, it was like a studio, but like a big type of studio that, um, um, that had like the bedroom was like in the bed was like in one corner and then there was like a couch and then there was a bathroom and that was literally it. It wasn't nothing crazy or special, but when we got back, what do we do? We literally 
they gave us a bunt cake. I think the Airbnb gave us like a bunt yeah, cake. Yeah, because I think they knew it was our wedding. So they yes. literally had like a little cake in there. It was nothing crazy. Mm-mm. But we, you guys, we talked for like four hours. Because we haven't seen each other in so long. I don't know what her um, half of the day was, like in the morning or whatever. I don't know what she did or whatever. And I was just, I just wanted to know. And then we were trying to remember what was happening throughout the night uh, at the wedding. And uh, I was just like, okay wow babe like you had a totally different experience than, than i did um and then we were super tired we were 100 percent tired and savannah i think you wanted to go to bed i did yes i think you were like ready to go to bed well i think at this point it was like 3 a.m but i wasn't like ready to go to bed yet if y'all catching my drift i was like i was like wow well th- this is it wait did we really just go to sleep Baby, I don't think so. Baby, we did not have sex on our wedding night. We just went to sleep. We just not only went to sleep. I think we probably cuddled or something. We might have fell asleep on each other. Didn't we watch something on TV? No. Oh, no. That was a totally different Airbnb. What were you thinking of? You were thinking of the Dallas When Airbnb. we moved to Dallas. Yeah. Because yeah, the Airbnb was literally similar. the same layout. But, um, yeah, I don't think we had sex. You told me about some like special underwear that somebody had made for you. I do remember that. Babe, yes, we did. Okay. And no, we didn't. So when did we? The next morning? The next morning. <gasps> Maybe this is too personal. Well, I'm just, this is for some people who think that you're going to immediately, as soon as you get married, you're going to have sex. And that's just like, bah, 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 like, that's it. It it wasn't. I thought it was, but it, it wasn't. It was more like, we're tired. Let's talk. And it's not like, I definitely thought about it. I mean, hundred. I'm. That's just me. I'm a guy. I was definitely thinking about it. But then I was like, okay. No, babe. I think we literally fell asleep on each other. Yeah, I think so too. And then we were like, it, we'll we'll have fun in the morning. <laughs> but okay, this is getting very personal. I know, but I know. I'm just saying. Um, and then that next morning, we had breakfast with all of our family, which was amazing, and uh, that was so cool. And then two days after. Or was that the first, second day? Uh, two days after, we went on our honeymoon. Yeah. And we Which went to Hawaii. I loved that gap. Like, yeah. some people leave the day after for mm-hmm. their honeymoon, mm-hmm. and I'm really glad that we didn't, especially because we just had so much family in town and stuff. We yeah. waited that one day before we left, and it was perfect because then we weren't like so exhausted even though we ended up being so tired you guys i'll never forget on our honeymoon flight but we were oh my we, gosh tell the story you guys josh and i knocked out like cold I have never, six hour flight right a six hour flight i've never like fallen asleep <laughs> from literal takeoff to landing didn't wake up once they had a full meal served we had no idea we missed everything a full panini we woke up like when with the flight land we're like oh we're here like whatever just normal the lady across the aisle from me was like did you guys take Benadryl or something? <laughs> and I was like, no, why? And she was like, I was like, we we just had our wedding, so we're just like so tired. And she was like laughing, and I was laughing. I was like, no, but we did really get a good that all was of our, our nights rest. Yeah, our family left like either the same day as us, or like we were still like entertaining after the wedding wedding and stuff. Then that we had that was that had us be so exhausted. Yeah. Um. So we get there, we went to Maui, and then we like we started to like get a second wind we're like okay we're about to be on our honeymoon this is great um we're there for like a week or like five days or whatever our parents paid for our honeymoon which was such a big blessing and we were just like we're just gonna enjoy this our first time in hawaii and it's just gonna be a great time um but uh come to find out on our honeymoon i don't know how we found out or how you told me but savannah it comes on her period yes which Maybe, hey, maybe that was a blessing in disguise because we could have had a honeymoon, baby. That's true. People do have those. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad thing. I know, right? I would have just been here a little earlier. That would have been insane. Can you imagine? Like, I can't even picture because we were married for two years, a year and a half mm-hmm. before getting pregnant. Like, imagine if we would have got pregnant right away. Lord, I wouldn't know what to do. I, I was such a different person three years ago. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Um, But, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, and the thing is, I'm saying all this because... When you think about getting married and your honeymoon and, you know, you found your wife and all these things, you're thinking about sex. Like, as a guy, me, I'm thinking that I'm... That's not the only thing you're thinking about. No, when we first, when, like, the day of. Okay, that's uh, the only thing you're thinking about. No, but it's one of the main things I'm thinking about. Really? I'm 100% thinking about having sex with my wife. Okay. And, you know, and then on our honeymoon, same exact thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, this is our time to shine. (laughs) (laughs) That's Savannah's saying. It's our time to, you know, like 
just be in love for this first week, the yeah. honeymoon phase, which is like obviously longer. But like in my head, I was thinking that. And then Savannah says that she's on her period. I think it was a surprise to you, too, because here's the thing. Savannah's period has always been irregular because yeah. she was on was birth on control. Birth control. So I think it was just... Which, by the way, that's supposed to regulate your period, so don't be confused. But the one that I was on, like, had a really low dose of hormones. So, like, mine would always be really irregular. It's a side note. Yeah. Um, so but I think yeah. it was a shock to you as well. And I remember you telling me. And it, honestly, in my head, I was like, oh, dang. <laughs> dang. Dang. Um, dang. Yeah. We're here for this long and you were but uh, but another plus to her periods, you would only get like two day periods yeah, sometimes. Were, yeah, so the type of birth control I was on, same thing, like my, <laughs> and people are probably like, What she got? Let me get yeah, some. Yeah. <laughs> no, my periods actually no, but now knowing because uh, I had one period between Riella and this pregnancy and my pregnancy or my period was only like three days. So I think I'm just prone to short periods. Maybe. But I don't know. Anyways, yeah, my periods would be like two to three days, like literally so short. Like I feel like so I would short. start it and end it. Yeah. Uh, so it ended up being okay. It ended up being straight, but I don't look that first initial moment. I'm just like, oh, uh, really? Our daughter's drinking Verner's. She's not drinking Verner's, you guys. She the Verner's is empty, but she has she's the bottle. It. <laughs> she's trying she's to get a taste. Keeps, she's like, I taste something good on there. <laughs> um, yeah, but it, in the time I was just like, dang, why the heck is this happening? But it turned out fine. And our honeymoon was actually great. I yeah, advise you guys to go to Maui. That's where we went. Because uh, it was definitely for couples. Yeah. A lot of people it, say, you go. I was going to say, like, for couples. We noticed there's a lot of couples and, like, older people. Yeah. And then, like, a few families. Mm -hmm. But it seemed, like, very chill. Yeah. Yeah. We've been married for three years. I know. I was telling somebody today at church that, and they were just like, wow. Because they just got married, like, four months ago. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, my God, three years. And now that I think about it, oh, my God, three years is... It's, it's some time. What's crazy is like, we're going to be married for four before we know it. Because I cannot believe that it's already, it's almost March. Wow. We're about to have another baby. If you, if you listen, I'm dapping up my wife right now. Cause you know, I'm patting myself on the back sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like we doing it. We doing it. Marriage is not easy. I know. Marriage is hard. Is what? Hard. What? <laughs> you never. You never heard of like when somebody say whore, baby, like big boy baby. walking in my Air Force One. You can't say it like that because it sounded like you said something totally not that horde. Yeah, let's stop. Let's just say hard. <laughs> well, marriage is tough. Yes, there you marriage go. is super hard. <laughs> hard. <laughs> I went to the proper <laughs> marriage is hard. And um, I was talking to somebody today because they asked me a question, and I think like one of the toughest things about marriage that obviously I didn't know when we when we like on our wedding day and from there to now is we're ever always changing. Mm -hmm. Like our relationship, our relationship is changing, but also just personally as people. as people were changing. And I think the tough part is the other one trying to learn the season of life that the other person's in. Oh, for sure. And then let alone, like you're also learning yourself if you're going through like yeah, a change, which is so hard or just like evolving, not yep. even like, it doesn't even have to be like a big life change or something like traumatic or dramatic or life changing. Mm -hmm. It can just be like evolving and growing as a person. Yeah. Like we've changed so much in three years and we've had to like walk with each other through each of those seasons and not easy at all. Just learn how to like adapt mm -hmm. and like, yeah, it is. It's crazy. Yeah. Like I would, there would literally just be times where I just would not know what to do or say. We've talked about this with pregnancy, but like just life in general, like we are totally two different people from when we first got married and how to uh, be there for that person and how to like find out, do you need me to actually help you or do you just want me to listen? Like that was a big thing for me. I did not. Sometimes I now I know Savannah just wanted to just talk to me. Yeah. And let me just let her vent instead of me try to like fix help it. her out or fix it yeah, like or whatever. That was I, tough. Right. Yeah. Sometimes I just want to like be like, hear my heart. And like, yes, of course, I would always love to hear what you have to say. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I just need to like spill all this stuff to you. And then I just need you to hug me and just be like, it's okay. Right. And that's all I want. Like, I don't want you to give me your advice in this moment. Yeah. And now I know. Now I know. There's certain things that I'm just like, okay, just Josh, just. Yeah. let her talk or let her or you or sometimes you just want me to hold you 
too yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But that definitely comes with time. And I'll say I still sometimes don't even – sometimes I feel like you still want an answer yeah. or something like that. And That's I, another thing. I don't, Sometimes I don't know when you want an answer. Well, and I feel like now, though, like we are just so much better at communicating than we were when we first got married. Yes, yes. So we'll just straight up tell each other what we need. Yep. 100%. Savannah had to – have a burp um but yeah i don't know how we on that off on that little tangent of marriage was there something you wanted to share about marriage i forgot i, I like you had it in your notes or something oh. or was it about parenting oh it was about parenting okay we'll save that for the next podcast yeah. um but yeah y'all comment down below let us know what your wedding night experience was like and like just what have you learned from that moment till now to wherever you know you um you are in your marriage because it's definitely different for everybody and i'm just learning that like some people someone asked me a question they like how do you navigate like moving and having your career having a baby and marriage and stuff like everyone has such a different walk of life mm -hmm. that you have to navigate while married um, especially like newly married i consider us still newly married yeah, because yeah. we're 100 percent still learning or whatever i ain't gonna say we know something until like 50 years into this thing. Okay. I was going to say, our dogs went up the stairs. Oh. I was going to say, I feel like you are no longer like newlywed at 10 years. Really? I feel like 10 years, you're like, okay, I've been married for 10 years. What if you're always a newlywed because each year is just something different and you have to adjust to, to what that, like, like well, I feel like at year 10, we're going to be totally different people and like our relationships are going to be totally different and we well, have to for learn. Sure. I think we can still have the mentality of like newlywed honeymoon mindset, mm -hmm. but like to say that we're actually newly married yeah. is like just not the facts. Oh, not newly married, well, but that's like, what a newlywed oh, is. I, th I thought people say, you know, how people say like the honeymoon phase. Yeah, that's what you were talking about. Yes. That's what, what I'm you, referring what you mean to. In the honeymoon phase forever? I'm in the honeymoon phase forever. It, yes, it's going to be on and off sometimes, but like it's definitely on. It's on and off. No, let's be real. Sometimes it is off. Okay. It a hundred percent is off. But yeah. like, I feel like we got to keep that up though. Yeah. Every year it's, you have that honeymoon phase. Yeah. Yeah. So is that the end? I think it's the end. That's the, <laughs> I think it's guys. the end because for one, my back really hurts, but, oh yeah, but not just that. I've been cringed out because I realize I'm wearing an ankle sock. So she has to get off camera immediately. No, I'm just letting you guys know. I like don't. That's something like that. It just kind of rubs me the wrong way. Like if you're wearing an ankle sock, like you just have to keep it in your shoe. And but you're wearing an ankle sock. Yeah, I know. But it's fine inside my shoe. But like if I'm going to take off my shoes, I need to take off my socks. <laughs> and I forgot that I was wearing these. And you guys have been looking at them the whole time. And they're Adidas. Nope. The thing is, no one hasn't looked at your socks until you said something about your socks. I know, and now everyone's looking. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, comment down below. Let us know what you guys uh, want to see. Thank you for all the rating, the um, people who have downloaded our podcast. The listeners, shout out. Yeah, y'all are OGs. And if you listen and watch, you are OG, OG. Um, because that support does not go unnoticed. Leave a rating if you would like. Baby, got anything? I already told my my spiel. She already told my spiel on the thing. We love you guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next podcast.